Hello and welcome back. Today I have two solved problems in the area of statistical concepts and market returns. Both of these questions examine the attributes of skewness and kurtosis in unimodal distributions. So let's get started. Skewness affects the location of the mean, median, and mode of a distribution. For a symmetrical distribution, the mean, median, and mode are equal. Now, in the case of a positively skewed distribution, there are large positive outliers which tend to drag the mean out towards the right. So, in a positively skewed unimodal distribution, the mean is greater than the median, which is greater than the mode. For a negatively skewed unimodal distribution, the mean is less than the median, which is less than the mode. So, remember, for skewness, mean is the value that gets dragged in the direction of the skew. So for a positively skewed distribution, mean gets dragged to the right. And for a negatively skewed distribution, mean gets dragged to the left. Kurtosis is a measure of the degree to which the distribution is more or less peaked than a normal distribution. A normal distribution has a computed kurtosis of 3 and an excess kurtosis of 0. A leptokurtic distribution has excess kurtosis greater than 0 and has a computed kurtosis greater than 3. A platykurtic distribution has excess kurtosis less than 0 and a computed kurtosis of less than 3. Leptokurtic distributions will have a greater percentage of small deviations from the mean and a greater percentage of extremely large deviations from the mean. Remember, a greater likelihood of a large deviation from the mean implies increased risk. So leptokurtic distributions have increased risk. Okay, with that, let's look at a couple of examples. So here we have some statements regarding mesokurtic, positively skewed, and negatively skewed distributions, and the link of these distributions with risk. So mesokurtic is the same as a normal distribution. A is incorrect in stating that it has higher risk than normal distributions. Positively skewed return distributions imply that there are a greater number of returns in the right tail, meaning there is less risk of negative outcomes. So B is incorrect as well. C is the correct answer because negatively skewed and distributions with greater positive kurtosis or leptokurtic distributions indicate higher risk. Let's look at another question. Now, as we discussed earlier, A seems correct because, in fact, leptokurtic distributions have computed kurtosis greater than 3, which would imply that it's greater than 2 as well. Let's look at B. The computed kurtosis for normal distributions is, in fact, not 0, it's 3, so B is incorrect. And platykurtic distributions do have excess kurtosis, it's just less than 0. Now, as we discussed earlier, normal distributions have a computed kurtosis of 3. Excess kurtosis is in relation to this level. So C is incorrect as well, which makes A the correct answer. I hope that clarifies skewness and kurtosis. Good luck as always. I will be back soon with more videos.